M26 prime movers transport the tube and base for the 914 millimeter mortar, Little David. A 12 foot pit is dug with timber flooring to facilitate emplacement of the base assembly and to distribute the firing loads. A 12 degree slope serves as an entrance ramp. The 46 and a half ton base is backed into the pit. Built-in hydraulic jacks lift it so that the bogey can be removed by a crane and the prime mover driven out again. Backfilling by bulldozer, angle dozer, or other earth-moving machinery is the next step. To minimize the rearward motion when firing, it is recommended that the backfill be tamped solidly. A timber runway is constructed, enabling the 40-ton tube to be driven directly onto the base. The trunnion supports align with the trunnion jacks by use of a built-in cross-feed screw. A hydraulic pump and valve system within the base raises the jacks which lift the trunnion supports, permitting the carrier to be driven away. The jacks are then lowered and the tube drops until the elevating rack is engaged with the elevating pinion. The site is attached and the remote control connection made. A hydraulic pump driven by an electric motor mounted on the elevating segment is used to pump the tube into battery position. The base unit of the propelling charge is inserted using a powder charger equipped with a pair of telescoping tubes. The largest caliber motor ever built, the Little David was conceived and designed as a special assault weapon for use by land forces where heavy destructive power is required against unusually resistant targets. Loading the pre-engraved projectile T1, which weighs 3,650 pounds. Elevation of the mortar after the shell has been aligned and entered to the deep end of the rotating band enables it to slide down to a seat at the rear of the tube. The piece is traversed by power to the correct azimuth position. The bright surface indicates the tube's recoil, 24 and a half inches. This surface changes from the lower to the upper edge of the trunnion ring as the piece is pumped into battery position, shown by a light in the remote control box. Holding the piece in battery with one hand, the gunner pushes the firing button. All firing in this demonstration is with instantaneous fuse setting. Muzzle velocity, 1,250 feet per second. Maximum range, 9,500 yards. Craters average 38 feet in diameter and 13 feet deep, with an appreciably greater depth of distributed soil. 